There are instances when you can't uh, actually use hot air to remove a chip. I mean, this is just one example. The battery box is so close to the, the part, you'd, you'd have to mask it in some way. And uh, that's not the only scenario. There's, there's instant, you get occurrences where the chip, when you, you heat it and heat it and it just doesn't, the, the alloy simply doesn't want to flow. So we, we've had to devise other methods of removing these parts and this is just one example. Um, pretty foolproof as long as you're patient and you don't force it, you take very very light strokes. Uh, we use a needle file to remove the most of the material from the legs adjacent to the sides, the sides of the body of the chip. So yeah, that's it basically, we start. So um, a selection of needle files. I like to start off with the finest one. It takes a little bit of a bit of patience, a lot of patience actually, but it's pretty foolproof. You just take your time, you'll be here for some time, and you just don't rush it. Just don't rush it. You can see it's just working through the first one. When you actually get most of the material removed, you can just pop a scalpel through them just to clear them, but not until you're pretty sure you've removed most of the material. I mean, it saves overheating the board, and it saves them possibly damage through overheating too. We need, we're going to speed this, this part up just a little for you, so you can... Uh, actually view the video a little bit quicker. Right, we'll just stop there a second and just see if the uh, Thin enough to push through. Yeah, that one's really. Once you've finished the one side, obviously the same needs to be done on the other side. But both sides have been pretty much filed through now. This one should be just a simple matter of popping the scalpel through the thin section on the end, and away she comes. We've removed the EEPROM. All that remains now is to remove the remnants of the pins and clean up. We don't want those little copper parts being left on the board or going under anything. So brush those well to one side. A little bit of solder. Tin everything really well. And the pins, no matter how hard the alloy, will actually just come away really easy without damaging the tracks. There's a little blob on there I might be able to take off. Yeah. And then it's just a matter of cleaning up. We use an ordinary solder bread. got to be electronic flux as anything else is not suitable it will corrode your tracks in no time at all four nice clean pads you just spin the board around repeat the process on the other side and you've got four nice clean footprints to be going along with we've removed all the pins with the iron and cleaned the pads a little bit of surgical spirit. I trim these brushes especially for this. Don't really want to be pushing against them. It doesn't matter. The surgical spirit is very volatile. It'll evaporate in no time at all. But you just need a clean working area and nothing underneath the chip if you can help it. And there we go. You can clean up with a soft cloth, all ready for fitting the new EEPROM. 